guys welcome back to my channel my name is Amy as most of you already know and don't mind how I look I know I look a hot mess but today's video is actually going to be about the bunnies I'm gonna show a short clip of them um because I just took it actually but today is gonna kind of be how how expensive bunnies actually are that people don't realize how expensive they can be like they are so expensive I never thought that I would be paying this much for some of the stuff that I buy but we're gonna hop straight into it. Greens. It's one of the things that they technically don't have to have, but it's good for them to have. So here I have parsley, um, cilantro, and kale. I don't feed this all the time, but I do feed different kinds of greens every morning. So anytime you feed greens, you wanna make sure that they are pretty much rinsed off, that there are no bugs or anything in them. Um, and the extra water with the greens like this, it has still water on them, it's good for the bunnies. Um, and this is Fluffy. He smells the greens if you can't tell. But I feed this every morning, a little bit of greens every morning for the two bunnies. Say hi Fluffy. Yeah, hi to the camera. Hi, Fluffy. <laughs> He's acting crazy today, but we feed that every morning, and it is a weekly cost because you can't just not buy greens weekly. If you're going to buy them, you have to buy them fresh because if not, they'll go bad. So that's that. He smells them on my hand. Hi, Fluffy. And these bunnies absolutely love their greens. So, as you saw, I did the green. So, one of the next things that is super important for bunnies to have, and it can get pretty darn expensive, is hay. Hay is supposed to be 80% or more of their diet. Um, depending on your vet's recommendations, some may have you do just hay diet, some may do hay pellets and greens diet. It just depends on your rabbits. Um, and all of that so hay can get pretty expensive so it just depends so like of course walmart sells hay PetSmart sells hay um online sells hay um from my experience i have had walmart PetSmart, and online hay currently i have had bales of hay um and i have had all pretty much of that so overall i would say the more you pay for some hay the better off that more likely it's going to be. So I've bought Walmart hay um, when I first got Fluffy and I didn't know too much about rabbits. I bought Walmart hay and it was like 10 bucks for a large-ish bag. Um, it was good, I wouldn't say good quality, but it was good for being Walmart brand. Um, it was Timothy hay, but I personally would not buy that anymore. Um, PetSmart sells some pretty good hay. They sell Oxbow when all Things Living, I think, is the brand of it. I mean, it's good hay, but I have recognized with Oxbow hay that it is very dusty, and it makes me sneeze a ton. Like, I can't do Oxbow hay anymore. I've learned that with switching to the new hay. If you can see that huge box in the back over there. Um, so, the hay that I am currently using, and I'll try to put links in the description for everything other than, like, maybe the greens, because I buy those from Kroger. Um, the hay I buy is from Paul Small Pet Select. Um, I buy that big box over there is actually First Cut Timothy Hay, and that box is a 10-pound box. Um, so, it's lasts me a little while. I'm going to have to get <laughs> another box here soon because I'm always out. But that should be like your number one priority of getting rabbits at all is because it's supposed to be like the one thing to keep their gut moving that they're supposed to eat all the time. So hay is super important and the better quality hay that you can get the better. So when I order hay this upcoming time, I'm going to order a 10 pound box of the Timothy First Cuts box and then I'm going to order oat hay which is kind of like a treat hay in a way. Um, 
but it's gonna get the buddies excited to eat the hay. They absolutely love the hay as it is. Like they are in love with it. But getting them an extra 10 pound box will help me overall. So they have different hays to eat, you know? Um, so the next thing is, is if it's recommended by your vet to have pellets. So, Walmart sells pellets, Tractor Supply, Tractor Supply sells pellets. There are tons of places that sell pellets. Um, first of all, don't get any pellets that have any like nuts or seeds or anything like that ever. Don't ever get that, like it is not good for your bunnies whatsoever. Um, I, was, I used to be buying the Walmart brand um, pellets. They were super cheap and affordable. But I realized over time that they're just not good for your bunny. I tried to switch them to Oxbow um, pellets, but Fluffy's belly is super sensitive, so I didn't get to do that. So here recently from a friend that I have on my Snapchat and stuff, she recommended me what's called Sherwood Timothy-based pellets, and it is literally Timothy Hay pellets. Like, they are absolutely amazing. Um, I recommend those to anybody who asks. So for a 4.5 pound bag, it is $18.95. Um, so it is a little bit pricey for what you get, but they are absolutely amazing. I've had no problems with Fluffy, no problems with Sweet Pea with these pellets at all whatsoever. They have, their tummies have adjusted to them. Their tummies absolutely love these pellets and they are amazing i would recommend them to anybody who asks what kind of pellets to do i would do sherwood timothy based pellet pellets so pellets aren't actually like a necessity for bunnies but i would say if you can get timothy based ones they're better for them because it helps their digestive system as well as they have hay which is timothy hay so that's that so the next thing that can get kind of pricey is toys. Bunnies have to have things to keep them busy. Um, you can buy toys from PetSmart, you can buy toys online. I recommend buying online. So there are a bunch of et Etsy shops on Etsy that are well aware of what bunnies can and can't have. Um, I use BinkyBunny.com and small pet select for things that they need. Um, bunny toys are a necessity because bunnies need to chew, chew, chew. Um, the hay helps them chew, but bunnies really need toys to chew on. Um, as you can tell, I have all kinds of hanging toys up there. I have toys down in the cage. And of course, me personally, I do not keep them in there all the time. It is not good for bunnies. They need their time to roam. Um, honestly, if you could free roam, that's what I suggest but sometimes you get to the point that you can't and that cage is actually huge so so the next thing that is depending on your bunnies because i litter trained my bunnies my bunnies know how to go in a litter box um they love using the litter box and it's super easy to clean up so with that being said i have two litter boxes one inside the cage and one outside the cage just in case for some reason we have to keep them inside um so bedding for that I buy from Tractor Supply. I have a 40 pound bag that I buy and it's like six or seven dollars. It's not that expensive and it's super cheap and easy to clean up. So I'm not going to complain about that whatsoever. Um, of course they have to have water. I would not recommend bottles. Bottles are not the best way for rabbits to get their water. Um, only because they can dehydrate from them because they don't get enough water. Um, so I recommend bowls for that and then vet visits. So personally, I myself, one of the bunnies I have, Sweet Pea, has never been to the vet. Um, I am of course working on taking to her as soon as possible. Um, I got her from a lady who had never taken her. Um, she had two litters of bunnies before I got her, so she hasn't been fixed, unfortunately. But I am looking into doing that because it is going to be better off for her. As well as bunnies need to go to the vet yearly to get yearly checkups, just like dogs and cats. 
Um, bunnies can get sick just like dogs and cats as well, humans as well. Um, so you always wanna watch. Bunnies really don't show signs of like sickness when they're sick only because they feel like it's like maybe like a weakness I'm assuming like that's how to describe it but yeah bunny and vet bills can get pretty expensive depending on where you live a lot of places are can be high-end can be up to a thousand dollars for vet visits depending on what you're going for um, some can be a cheaper, it just depends on where you live in the world, but vet visits are expensive. It's super important to make sure you're taking them to the vet like you're supposed to. If they get GI stasis, take them to the vet. Um, that'll be a whole separate video if you guys wanna know about GI stasis. But yeah, that's pretty much gonna wrap up this video, I think. I, I said hay, greens, pellets, bedding for litter boxes, um, toys and that's pretty much like my top things for the bunnies to have I don't really give them like I give them like maybe like fruit for treats but I don't give them anything for like processed treats I don't do that just because it's not not good for bunnies if it's not all one ingredient so if it's not all strawberry or not all whatever I don't give them from the vets or not from the vets from PetSmart or Walmart because it's just not good for them. So other than that, I think that's gonna wrap up this video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. Comment down below what videos you guys would like to see. Um, if you wanna see more rabbit related videos, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video and I'll see you guys in my next one. I love you guys, bye.